Okay, back with a very short video. So some time ago, I took some serious risks with my 7.2 GHz 980X Golf Town CPU. So when I was running it on LN2, I dropped the physical cores down from 6 to 2 and I suddenly saw a huge drop in core frequencies. So suddenly 6.6 uh, .6 became just 6 GHz for example, so I immediately stopped the session. There was actually a post about this issue over at Extreme Systems like 11 years ago that uh, if you drop the physical core count on a Golf Town CPU let's say from 6 down to 2 or even from 6 down to 1 it can kill the CPU permanently or cause some permanent damage, uh, damage aka make the CPU to degrade very very quickly and I saw this myself so I stopped immediately but uh, now when I obtained this brand new Rampage 3 uh, Formula motherboard uh, I was testing some uh, CPUs. I wanted to try this particular CPU once again and see how it runs today after uh, sitting on a table for a very long time, at least one year. I think well over a year. So, uh, uh, to my surprise, it's actually doing quite well. So, uh, the speed it was able to do at the very beginning was 4.8 GHz in W Prime 32 with 1.4 volts set. On the Rampage 3 Black Edition, and now I'm now I tried the same setup. So 1.4 set volts. I actually measured the voltage with uh, a multimeter, and uh, the voltage under load is 1.41 spot on. So well, so uh, 1.410, and uh, it seems to be stable. So I actually have one successful uh, W Prime 32 run over here. So. Uh, 3.624 seconds. We can try it again very briefly. So same result and I can open core temp for you and CPU Z to confirm that I'm not running sub-zero temperatures. So those are some normal AIO, I mean normal uh, ambient temperatures and the temperatures don't really exceed 70 degrees under load. I think the hottest core was like 68 or 65. So here you can see 1.4 volts, 200 times 24, 6 cores, 12 threads. Memory simple 2 GHz, 888 24 command rate 1, 4 GHz uncore, motherboard, Rampage 3 formula, latest official BIOS. So that's how it is. So uh, that's very good news for me because I really thought I lost the CPU permanently when I saw that huge drop in uh, the core frequencies. So uh, if, it, if the CPU is still the same as it was at the very beginning, I really want to try it again for the single core stuff because this, there has to be some issue I just haven't solved. Because uh, W Prime as well as other uh, multi-threaded tests, they are harder to pass than single core tests. This CPU did 7.2 GHz validation and the record scores in W Prime 32 and 1024M. At full pot temperatures, I'm sure the CPU can do W Prime 32 at least at 6.7, maybe close to 6.8. So, uh, if it can run or if it could run single core tests like 1M, PyFast 32M at uh, similar speeds, then uh, it could maybe challenge the top scores in those tests. Of course, it's a very difficult job, but that's just my theory. The issue with many of these Golf Town CPUs on most of the motherboards is that they cannot reach full pot temperatures with all of the free memory channels populated. For example, I had one uh, AO stepping engineering sample 980X that uh, couldn't, I just couldn't get it to full pot temperatures at all with all of the free memory channels populated with a memory stick. But when I sold it to Australia, the new owner was able to get it, get the CPU easily to full pot with three memory channels running on a Rampage 3, on a Rampage 3 Extreme motherboard. So I'm sure there's still something I haven't discovered. So I want to work on it and try to solve the issues many have asked uh, as well. So I'm definitely happy. 4.8 is a very nice frequency for a Golf Town CPU at 1.4 volts. So if you uh, 
if you have 980X or 990X yourself, this is the speed the record capable CPU achieves on water cooling. So 1.4, I mean 4.8 at 1.4 volts. And we can try it briefly again, but it might crash because it's quite on the edge. So I closed the uh, real-time priority uh, tweaker to get uh, some temperature measurements for you. Run. So 64, 65. Yeah, it passed. So the maximums were 65, 65, 57, 60. Like uh, a bit over 60 degrees as the average of the core maximums. So yeah, so uh, let's see what we can do with the CPU uh, later on. So uh, if you like to see this very small update video, then uh, please give me a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.